A good morning. Today we are going to talk about this examination blueprint. This is all to call, also called as TOS of examination or table of specification of assessment. This is part four of the series of assessment planning. Just to revise, we have talked about purpose of examination, who we are assessing, when we are assessing, what content do we want to assess, that was the table of specification, the basic table of specification as you remember. Now we are going to talk about is by which method and tool do we want to assess. Not only by which method and tool, what should be the number of items in each tool, what should be the number of questions in each tool, let us say if there is an MCQ paper, how many MCQs should be there from each topic, if it is an OSCE station, how many OSCE stations should be there from each topic. Remember this table of specification which we dwelt in the last video? Have a look at it. TOS is the starting point of the examination blueprint. Unless you don't have this basic TOS, you cannot develop examination blueprint. The first thing you have to do is to select the method of examination. For the sake of clarity and easy understanding, an effective way is to add one more section which is the assessment section in the previous TOS. This one, this column, this column and this column was previously present. So we have added this assessment section and the first step is select method of examination. Let us say for that course of primary survey which we are doing, for knowledge we select written method and for psychomotor and effective we select performance method. Because we believe psychomotor effective cannot be assessed by written method, and that's true also. Because skill has to be shown. The general way of doing has to be shown effective. Once we have done that, step two would be select tool of examination. The method is written. Do we want to the use of tool of multiple choice questions? short answer questions, short essay question, long essay question, extending matching, whatever. One or more than one, we can choose any. In performance, what do you want to do? Do we want to have OSPI and OSCE and then other ways of direct observation of procedural skill? Many ways, but we have to select maybe one or more than one. In this case, we selected multiple choice question, one best style with four options, and objective structured clinical examination, or objective structured procedural examination for psychomotor and effective domains of learning. Once we are clear about this, then the third important step would be allocate marks to each item. So what we have done is, we have decided this thing, that the MCQ would be of one mark per item and the paper would be of 30 MCQs with no negative marking. And we have assessed this thing the performance would be of OSCE 
and ASCII would be of stations and there would be seven stations and each station would be 10 marks because if you see this thing psychomotor component is much more as compared to knowledge component so therefore when we are assessing we are given more marks to performance ASCII as compared to written examination now once we have done that then obviously what we have to do is if there are 30 MCQs, how many should be from airway, how many from breathing, how many from circulation, how many from disability, how many from exposure? The seven OSCE stations, then how many would be from airway, breathing, circulation, disability and exposure? Mind you, it is this weightage which is going to determine, if you think of it, Therefore, what we reach to conclusion is 10 MCQs from airway, 5 MCQs from breathing, 5 from circulation, 8 from disability, and 2 from exposure. It might amaze you. The weightage is less of disability overall, but MCQs are more than these because if you break it down, the domain of learning of disability was more in each domain. For the sake of simplicity, we don't write marks. So therefore, the final shape of the examination blueprint or T of exam TOS of examination would be something like this. It is telling us domain of learning, topics, domain of learning, assessment section, weightage. It is telling us very clearly which method is being used, which tool is being used, how many items of the tool are present. If you count over here, it is 100. And if you go this way, it is 100. Go this way, 100, 100, 100. This is the examination blueprint. But if you're going to give this paper to the examiner who has come to make the paper, it will be very problematic. So we have to simplify it and give it to him in the most simplified way. So therefore, when the examiner will come, where means the paper setter will come to set the paper, then we will give him a word document in which something like this would be written. Instruction to the examiner, make a paper of 31 type best at MCQ. One MCQ is to one mark as follows. 10 less MCQs from airway, 5 breathing, 5 circulation, 8 disability to exposure. Then make OSCE examination of 70 marks, one station is to 10 marks as follows. 2 airway, 2 breathing, 2 circulation, and 1 from disability and exposure. Since the questions are already present in the bank, so therefore one can also use the term select, make a paper of 31 by ambassador to by selecting MCQs from the bank, but that is understood. It may, need, may have following instructions also. All MCQ questions should be problem solving. That is what we want for health professionals. No MCQ should be repeated from last three years. This is for the university to decide, depending on many factors. All questions in the bank meet the quality standards through item analysis. So we know this thing. The questions which are being chosen by the paper setters, they meet the criteria or they meet the standards of quality assurance that they are the good items. Thank you. Have cheerful moments. Have a good day.